Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am going to be tackling our spare bedroom, aka Tom's room because he gets ready in that room in the morning and that's pretty much his wardrobe. All of his clothes, or at least the majority of them, not the ones that are stored in drawers, but all the hung up clothes are all in that room. It used to be roles reverse, it used to be mine, but uh, the fact that Tom sometimes gets up and goes early for work, it just made sense to have it as his room that he can get ready in in the morning without having to like switch all the lights on and everything for me. This I feel like is a video for those of you who enjoyed my kitchen makeout. Keep saying kitchen makeout video. For those of you who enjoyed my kitchen makeover clear out video, uh, I'm actually in my kitchen now. Just made myself a nice little uh, coffee in my La Creuset mug. I'm still obsessed with these mugs, TK Maxx for the bargain price. So I actually did a huge clear out of this kitchen, clean and then reorganized everything. So it's going to be kind of along those lines, except I do have a few new homeware additions, which I featured in Wednesday's video, my big, 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 huge homeware haul. So if you did miss that, then I'll again leave that one linked just so you can see where all the items are from that you'll see in this video. I'm so excited to get cracking today. I've set aside the whole day today to just get on with it. So I feel like you should just get comfy, get cosy with this one and enjoy the kind of therapeutic before, after, clean out, clearing process. I bloody love cleaning videos. I actually met one of you lovely subscribers yesterday and you were saying how much you loved my cleaning videos. So thank you so much if you're watching. I spotted you in Lidl. <laughs> So you know who you are. So yeah, thank you very much for coming up and saying hi to me. And I love cleaning videos too. So I'm excited to get this one done. I'm excited for you guys to see the before and after. And I'm excited to share it with you. So grab yourselves your little coffee, snacks, whatever it is that you want to relax and enjoy the rest of this video. So first thing is first, the before and OMG. The reason why I keep this door closed is so that I don't even need to see this mess. Tom is so messy and to be completely honest with you, today was a particularly messy day. He'd been sort of going through his wardrobe and everything. So this is a bad before. It can't really get any worse than this because there's no room for it to get any worse than this. Um, but essentially this is sort of like an overview. Even the wall, I change up the prints and the mirror and everything. So yeah, let's begin with first things first is moving everything into our bedroom before giving the room a thorough clean. The reason why I do this, I suppose it's like Con Marie method. If ever you've watched Maria Kondo, oh my God, she's amazing. She um, essentially goes into people's houses and just transforms it and helps them declutter. And so essentially what I do, like I did with the kitchen video, is remove everything, bar these rails with clothes on because they're not gonna change and I can still access the floor to be able to clean underneath. It was so dusty and so grimy that I could not wait to get my hinge on. And starting with this table, I'm just using Windoline because it is, as you can tell, predominantly glass and one of these handheld dusters from B&M. I'm also using a microfiber cloth here that I got from Primark in a pack of five that was specific for glass, which I found really useful. Now I'm just gonna move out that little table. I don't, I call it a table, what is it? I don't know, a little kind of vanity unit. And then I'm gonna use the Glade Shake and Vac Hoover and then finish off with the 1001, which you don't need to hoover up. You just spritz on once you finish. It soaks into the carpet and it smells amazing. I'll also leave a link to this Hoover down below. This is the GTEC Air Ram. It's incredible. It was mine and Tom's Christmas gift from my parents. And honestly, I have never received a better Christmas present. It has been amazing. Highly recommend it. So yeah, we'll leave it linked.
Next up to tackle on my hinge list was this clothes horse, clothes hanger, which we picked up from HomeSense a while back now. I was unsure what to use to clean this with, to be completely honest with you. I tried just polishing it, but then I found the window lean helped the most. It helped bring up any kind of like fingerprints or anything. So I've positioned this next to that desk and it's just kind of handy for Tom to just throw his clothes on um, that he's wearing that maybe he doesn't want to put away with the clean clothes, etc., etc. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. I am just finishing dusting all the rest of the room and in order to help dust the clothes, I just use this lint roller. Obviously having an open wardrobe like this, i.e. just hanging rails, is a temporary solution. We're moving within the next few months, hopefully. So ideally we'd have had fully fitted wardrobes in here, but for now, that rail uh, is sufficient. I'm also hanging a brand new print. This print is one of my new faves. It's from Decenio and I still actually have a discount code um, for you guys if you wanna use it, but you have to be quick because it does expire very soon. So if you want to uh, use that, I'll leave it on screen and I'll leave a link to it below. I am also positioning our brand new mirror, which I got from the range. I'm in love with this mirror. I think it's amazing. It looks really expensive. And for now, I'm just positioning these on the um, windowsill. This is a lavender pillow mist candle and a like water bottle. And then I'm making the bed all brand spanking new bedding and um, pillows, which I am obsessed with. Just gonna finish off with my favorite Febreze fabric spray in lavender. This is my favorite scent to use upstairs on bedding and towels. And then now it's time to tackle this sort of seating desk area. I wanted to keep it fairly empty and clean and tidy looking. So I used these like basket, storage baskets to put all of Tom's products in so it's not all kind of out and about and looks messy. I also had this Kiehl's box, so all of his Kiehl's products that he uses, I thought I could put in there and kind of have that as a display box. And then his wash bag with his essentials that he will sometimes take out and about with him if he's going away. I'm just gonna polish off this photo frame and I also have a round tray here from Tiger. This was a super bargain bought it a while ago and the fact that it's black and gold I thought it would look nicely in this room with it being Tom's quite masculine and I thought I'd put some of his favorite products on there and then right in the middle of the table taking the pride of place is my Yankee candle in fluffy towels again a perfect scent for in a bedroom. So here we have the before yet again. I just wanted to give you an overview to remind you how much of a state this room was in and also the uh, positioning of everything so you can see how I've rearranged it. And here we have the after. I'm so happy with the finished result. Do let me know your thoughts and what you think. If you think I should make any additions, switch anything up, let me know your thoughts and feedback on this video. Here's a little close up of the beading along the mirror that I am obsessed with. I think it makes it look so expensive. And I also have underneath these rails three bags from the white company Reese and again the white company just to like store things away in so it doesn't look messy and they're in nicely branded bags as were those little tubs they're just from Poundland and um, very handy to keep things stored away in and then we have our washing basket from H&M our lovely new bedding which you can see in my homeware haul that I did on Wednesday this is like my favorite area. I don't know why, I just aesthetically, it really, really pleases me. I think it's the brand new print that we've got. Um, I added a couple of coffee table books. I know it's not a coffee table, but you know, books 
that are relative to Tom. It's like a men's fashion book and a Porsche book, which is his favorite car brand. The last thing on my list to complete the room is of course to light my Yankee candle and I'll also just spray a bit of this Febreze air spray just to make it smell all the more delightful. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, give me a thumbs up if you did, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time.